I had a big deadline, and I work from home. So I bring my Xbox over to Nina's house, so I'm not tempted to play video games. The next day I go back to get my Xbox, and it's not there. And she says she has no idea what happened to it. Somebody must have stole it. I know it sounds unlikely, and it's kind of scary to think about someone breaking into my home, but I'm glad it's gone. I'm sick of him pissing in the sink. Is it true that he pissed in the sink? <laughs> God damn it, I gotta piss. Once, or twice, or whatever, it's my house. She came 20 minutes earlier than she said she would. After the fifth or sixth time, I thought to myself, we're definitely not moving in together. I feel as though, sometimes, she doesn't accept me for, ah, uh, who I am, and what I like, and what I do. Well, I kind of stopped trusting him. I mean, on our first date, he tells me, no, I never play video games, which is great. I really prefer that my partners don't. But it's not even that big of a deal, so why would he lie about it? Right there. Obvious. Perfect reason for her to trash my Xbox. She is trying to shape me into something I don't want to be. Based on the facts of him pissing in the sink and you admitting that you don't like that he plays video games, wouldn't you say that's reason enough for us to suspect that you threw away his Xbox? Is he blaming me? Look. One day he brings over his Xbox, and then the next day, he can't find it. I look on the bookshelf where he left the damn thing, and all I see is red vine residue. <laughs> residue. I didn't see any residue. I cleaned it. He leaves sticky handprints everywhere. I've gone through two bottles of Lysol since we met. Oh, tampering with the crime scene. Huh. Guilty liar. Okay, this filming shit is, it's too much. Drew, I know you're watching this, I'm breaking up with you. Now take your microphone and your film shit and get out of my house. And you know what? Take his lucky charms while you're at it. Oh boy, she is mad. Did you bring those lucky charms? Nice. I'm sorry we didn't discover who stole your Xbox. I guess you don't have to pay us. Huh? What? Where's your spine? You did exactly what I asked you to do. I've wanted out of that relationship for months now. So you stole it? Yeah, of course I took the Xbox. And all of this is to get her to break up with you? Yeah, uh, I don't really do breakups. Anyway, thanks. Look, you guys want to get some games in? I know I, I basically paid for your day already, so... I got another controller, if you're down. Although Drew died of kyphosis, arthritis, and other diseases that occur when you rarely leave your computer chair, he did become what he always wanted to be, a video game streamer. And even though he had no subscribers, he did have 12 people who briefly visited his streaming website. They declined to comment.